it's a few days before Christmas and I have travelled up to Hobbersfield in Suffolk for a week's fishing with my fishing buddy and son-in-law Andy. We are staying in the Fisherman's Lodge in beautiful surroundings at this amazing fishery. It's my third stay in the lodge and Andy's first visit. I am after the big roach and Andy is trying to tempt a big car. Well, the rods are out, we're in position, I'm getting indications already. Welcome to another Fishing Tail Films. I'm at the beautiful Homersfield Lake on the Suffolk Norfolk border where my target is some big roach. Fingers crossed. I'm getting indications already. Well, there it goes. Well, I've had a few small ropes to start off with. It's probably the bigger of the smallest ones so far. They will get a lot bigger than that, that's for sure. There's twos, there's threes, and there's fours in this lake. Would be nice to be one of them. The best I've had out of here is two pound six. And I'm hoping to beat that. Another bite. Let's pop this back.
Nice and handy with a nice, nice roach here at Homersfield. One pound eight. Yeah, not what I was expecting. Well, not what I was going for, should I say? But still a nice surprise. Beautiful looking fish. So yeah, it's good start. So hopefully now that's the start of them getting even bigger. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, hopefully I can get a carp as well. Yeah, that'd be even better. Right, let's get him back. Fantastic. Uh, I think he wants to head off. Yep, well done. Well, I've been fishing for about two or three hours now and um, loads and loads of small roach. They're really on the feed. A couple of weeks ago, or well, the last two weeks, it was very cold and uh, it's turned mild. Uh, very windy yesterday. We arrived yesterday, didn't fish yesterday, we didn't get it till this afternoon settled into the lodge and our first day of fishing but it's turned very mild compared to how, how it has been and um, temperatures are supposed to be quiet constant all week but it's obviously triggered the small fish the sm I've got another little bite there just developing but I think it's just going to be a case of feeding off trying to feed them off in the hope that sort of Late afternoon, just as the light's fading, the bigger roach will come out to play. That's going to be the it's going to be the, the well the, the hopeful tactic. Fish a couple of hours into dark and see if we can get ourselves one of those wonderful roach that live here. There's actually a match going on today. Martin and Laura, they. Uh, run a couple of matches every year here on Homersfield for a, a charity which is brilliant and uh, even Bob Nudd's here today four times world champion he's up on that beyond that island over there catching a few no doubt he does like his silver fish fishing as indeed I do there's still a long way to go so we're here all week this is just day one Going to mix it up this week, going to do a bit of float fishing as well for the roach, which will be fun. I do like to fish the waggler and um, we'll have a go at doing a bit of perch fishing as well. Me and Andy are going to set a day in the week to see if we can tempt some of the perch that, that live in the lake as well. P plenty to look forward to. Owner Martin Simmons invited Andy and myself to film some monster roach that came out during a charity match the previous day. It gives the fishery a chance to thin out the small stamped roach plus any skimmer breed. Of course, the big roach go back into the lake, as you will see by the film footage I took. It was fantastic to witness a couple of roach on the three pounds mark amongst plenty of two pounders. A sight for sore eyes. Tell you what, that ain't far off the wow. Look at that, just an incredible fish. It was absolutely amazing to see these massive roach in the two to three pounds bracket. There was a couple of three pounders in there as well. Fantastic fish. And it was a privilege to see these incredible fish. And as they were returned back to the lake, I was thinking to myself, even if I don't get to catch one, of that size obviously I was after a three pounder at least I got to witness some monster roach and although I've had fish to two pound six out of the lake it was still amazing to see so many big fish all at once imagine catching that on a session alone amazing
Oh, <coughs> signs are they're getting a little bit bigger. This is on a mini boilie, which is all good. Screamed off. Better than the little tap tap bites I've been getting on the maggot, so I've switched over to boilies now. And uh, it's a lovely looking roach in really good condition. And uh, probably just round about the pound mark, which is good. So Andy's had one. One and a half pound. I've had this one a pound now, so maybe the bigger stamp have moved in over our, our feed. Let's hope so. Let's pop him back. <coughs> well, it's nice and overcast now, it's dim light, so I reckon that's going to increase the chances of catching some of those big roach. They gradually, the stamp is getting bigger and bigger now, getting up to around the pound mark. I've had to come off maggots because they were just getting smashed straight away. Couldn't even set the bobbins, that's how quick the bites were coming. So I've gone on there to mini boilies. The right hand rod. I've had two, two or three on the trot as soon as I switched over to 10 mil boilies. Probably go up to 12 as well. And I've got some code reds that have done well for me in this lake. So I might give them a bash a bit later. I've gone over to Borley's on both rods now. And I'm getting much positive bites. I had a real good bite. I bent the rod right round. But the time I got there, I brought, brought my chair right near on top of my rods now. Because I think it's going to be roach o'clock. Big roach o'clock fairly soon. Spawning out regular baits. I'm still, I'm still feeding maggot out there so I want to attract all roach as well and the bigger the bigger hopefully the bigger fish are coming and have a little nose about see me boilies and get on them so simple approach helicopter rigs size 16 a hook um, the feeder bomb which really so accurate casting with the, the drenum feeder bombs so that's put me right on that gravel bar which is where I'm getting all my bites. Hopefully, big roach. I would, would, me, me PB is still two pounds ten ounces four drams, which is still fantastic fish. A memory I'll never forget. I've had some more twos out of this lake as well, but I really would love to catch a three pounder. I really would. And, uh, that'd be a special, special thing. Loads of time to go. That's the that's the good thing. We might move up down on the side bank. I was talking to Martin a bit earlier on Martin Simmons, who who owns this beautiful fishery, this venue, and uh, we were saying that you know it can produce some big fish down the side there. It did in the charity match on Sunday as well, but late, just as it was getting sort of dark, you know. So. Um, that's, that's a plan for maybe later in the week, maybe tomorrow. We'll see, see what happens for the rest of this afternoon. It's looking good. Come on you roach.
Although the fishing was our main reason for being here at Homersfield and staying in this beautiful lodge, we was also planning a couple of sessions in the pub just round the corner. The Black Swan, a pub I've visited before on my previous stays at Homersfield, serves some absolutely top-notch food. And Andy and I, when we arrived on the Saturday, booked a Christmas meal for the Tuesday night. And being as it was nearly Christmas, what better excuse than to have a Christmas meal in the pub? A three course meal that was absolutely wonderful and certainly put me and Andy in a festive mood. I decided to move swims. I was catching roach up to the power mark from the lodge area swims, which is still great fishing, but of course I was after a big three. So I decided to up sticks, move all my gear around to another sort of part of the lake in the hope of catching a big roach. It was an area that I knew quite well, I'd had roach to over two pounds from a previous visit about two years ago and I was hoping that I could stumble across some of those bigger specimens. At first it looked promising and as the light was fading I started to catch roach up to about the pound and a half mark and all was looking good. The following day I was full of enthusiasm and in contrast to the lodge swims, I didn't get any bites during the day, but as soon as the light started to fade, the alarms kicked into action. But I was catching the smaller stem again. I think the mild weather had turned against us, and that any signs of catching the big roach were few and far between. But that's fishing. Sometimes you can put as much effort into it as you can or you want to, but you don't always guarantee you getting the rewards that you're looking for. Sadly, our week at Homersfield came to an end, but it was an incredible week, a relaxing week, an enjoyable week. Our thanks go to Martin and Lara for making us most welcome during our stay. And also a big thanks to the Black Swan Pub just round the corner from Homersfield Lake for some fantastic meals. We will be back for sure in the near future. Well this is the bridge at Homersfield Village and the river Waveney runs underneath where I'm standing. The black Swan is just, just over there. And uh, I was hoping to give this a little bit of a, a fish, run a stick float down. But when we arrived early in the well, last week, it was way up, right into the fields. It still is in parts. But a few days later, it started to, to drop as the rain has sort of eased off a bit. But it's still unfishable. A lot of the swims, well, there was a couple of swims down here that you could fish, but there's probably, I would say, six, seven foot still underwater. But it's thinning down, but I'm afraid, no good to me because we're going home tomorrow. So, my plans to give this a little try has been scuppered. It's a shame because uh, I've visited this before and seen quite a few fish in here, some chub and rope, so there you go, perhaps another year. If you've enjoyed 
watching this video, please give it a like and a subscribe. And if you want to fish Hobblesfield for yourself, check out their website because it has all the details of the stay in the lodge, all the rules, all the regulations are all there. You won't be disappointed. What an incredible place. with a nice nice roach here at Homersfield. One pound eight. Yeah. Not what I was expecting. Well not what I was going for should I say, but still a nice surprise. Beautiful looking fish. So yeah. <laughs> 